Good evening, Oaks family. How you doing? Monday night. Can you believe it? Another day is drawing to a close. Praise God for it. I hope you've had a wonderful day and uh, it was hot. So let's praise God for air conditioning. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for air conditioning. And uh, a lot of times, uh, Ruth Ann McNaught is on our live stream and listening to or part of our uh, morning uh, 10 plus 10 and part of our evening uh, devotional. And, and Jim McNaught, her husband, you know, they own the hardware store in Victoria. So Jim's one of my old buddies from my Victoria days. And I had ordered an air conditioner on the Internet some years ago. And uh, he helped me put it all in. I put it all in, but then he helped me hook it up. And, it's still going. Praise Jesus. So, Ruth Ann, you tell Jim that that air conditioner works beautiful. And uh, hot today, praising God for uh, for air conditioning. Hope it's cool where you are, wherever it is. I've been outside most of the day, but I like it outside. So, But it does feel good when you come in. So, praise God for that. Hope you've had a good day. Hope you have just praised God for every step he's given you, every breath He has given you, for his protection over us pray for his continued uh, bubble of protection uh, over us uh, from the COVID-19 watched a little bit of the evening news and wow stuff is going crazy some places this stuff is the average flu ends June the 1st that's the end of the flu season uh, at least the tracking of it this COVID-19 is not the average flu as we can see uh, where it's just uh, kind of busted loose on one guy called it a wildfire that is just getting fuel uh, and just really getting it's getting going I mean oh, that's kind of a little bit of a scary thought fortunately we know Jesus all is well he is with us he is strong hallelujah hope you love Philippians 2 if you're part of that this morning love that chapter what an incredible chapter chapter 3 might be almost as good and uh, that's my favorite preaching chapter in probably the whole Bible, maybe. Uh, so anyway, we'll look at that tomorrow. Anyway, let's get with Jesus going. That's what we're that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna probably use just a little bit of Bible tonight too, because I kinda thinking of that as I was uh looking at it, reading it. I love the verses. Always love the verses, don't you? That's probably the best part. I probably say that all the time too. Psalm 5 and 3, this is a David psalm, has a little superscription there, a little small print. If you have a really good Bible, it'll have a little superscriptions there with it. And it's for a, to be accompanied with the flute. So this is one that is to be sung, obviously. And perhaps most of them are to be sung. Maybe they all are to be sung. Psalm 5, 3. In the morning, O Lord. Want to try and sing that? No, you don't want me to sing it. I know that. Uh, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. What's the key word there? Morning. Morning. Two times. Morning. Well, Pastor Marty is a broken record. But starting with the Lord in the morning is key. I'm not too sure. It's just almost as key as just 10 plus 10 itself. Uh, getting set up in the morning, getting set on the Lord in the morning. David knows it. David writes it in a psalm. Another David psalm here in Psalm 63. This is David in the wilderness uh, in Judah, of Judah. So this is when he's fleeing uh, uh, Saul, uh, uh, yeah, Saul, and uh, so a tough time for him. He was out there with his bunch of rebels and... Uh, and, but it was a time where he just had utter total dependence upon the Lord in the wilderness. Sound familiar? What do we do in the wilderness? Depend on the Lord. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My soul longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. And so again, early on he seeks the Lord. Philippians 4.13, this is our chapter that we're looking at here the next few days. I can do everything, Paul says, 
through him who gives me strength. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. That's another trans that's a translation I memorized. Uh, Philippians 4 and 13. Beautiful. Let's read uh, her reflection as Jesus speaking to us. As you get out of bed in the morning, <laughs> in the morning, be aware of my presence with you. How do you do that? I hope you have a way that helps you first thing think Jesus. Some people, I think it's Rick Warren, when we were doing uh, 40 days of prayer, talked about when he lays in bed in the morning before he gets up, he says good morning to Jesus and has a little talk with Jesus, and then he gets up and goes. Now, I just get up, but, but most times I'm already dreaming about Jesus, so it's not like, okay, got to wake up and talk to Jesus. So uh, I like to just think I already, I've been with him all night, and we just continue on. And so let's go get our teeth brushed. Or not, he didn't brush his teeth. I'll go get my teeth brushed and uh, shower, whatever, and off we go. In the morning. You may not be thinking clearly yet, but I am. And I hope that you are thinking clearly already. But if you're not, he is. Praise God. Your early morning thoughts tend to be anxious ones until you get connected with me. Well, hopefully you can be connected all night and you won't have to get up anxious. But if you do, uh, uh, get connected with him. Now, he will bring peace in the morning. Get peace. Calm. Invite me into your thoughts by whispering my name, the name Jesus. There's nothing like the name Jesus. You may think it's corny. You won't think it's corny, though, if you do it. You'll find power in the name of Jesus. There is no other name like it. Philippians 2, for all of you who are on this morning, look at Philippians 2. But remember that little section there? God highly exalted him, bestowed on him the name, which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess to the glory of the Father. There is power in the name of Jesus. It's the most beautiful name. It's the most holy name, the most sacred name, the most intimate name. And I hope that his name is on your lips often throughout the day, praising him. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. Thank you for the life I have in you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I want to give you glory, Jesus. Um, go for it. There's power in the name of Jesus, most especially when you're facing something difficult or anxiety tends to rise up. Jesus, suddenly your day brightens, feels more user-friendly. You cannot dread a day that is vibrant with my presence. So if you're dreading what you're doing, if you're dreading your day, you can be 100% sure that you have separated yourself from Jesus. You've lost contact with Jesus. You've lost the sense of the presence of Jesus with you. Get it back. It's real easy to get back. Just say his name, Jesus. 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 Repeat it. Repeat it a thousand times a day. Jesus. You gain confidence through knowing that I am with you. That you face nothing alone. I think about uh, just some times when I needed confidence. And of course the big time was when I had to stand up against uh, the, the Methodist system and hierarchy because I was just sure that was not the Lord's will for my life. And so you, you know, you remember that little saying I used to talk about, I said talk about a lot, never substitute a wishbone where a backbone needs to be. And you know, you have to count on Jesus for the confidence to take you where, where you don't really want to go or you don't have the power to go. And that's setting down before uh, the big wigs. I don't know what to even call it. But anyway, the reason I think about that, I had two conversations Sunday uh, with, with some friends now. They're, they're my friends that I've uh, come to know and love and, and long for them to, 
to just find the fullness of Jesus and live the fullness of Jesus and be a part of a healthy, vibrant church family. Uh, but both times we got talking about uh, my what happened to me when I went through the whole deal uh, with having to leave the United Methodist system. And this is what I'm thinking of. You go through it with Jesus. You you can't go yourself. You can't let that anxiety build up. You just, Jesus, okay, I'm going. You go with me. And I know you're going to go with me. And he'll get you through anything. He will absolutely get you through anything. Hallelujah. Anxiety stems from asking the wrong question. If such and such happens, can I handle it? That's not the right question. The true question is, not whether you can cope with whatever happens, but whether you and I together can handle anything that occurs. That's Jesus speaking there. And the answer is, yes. You and I, Jesus, can handle anything. I can go through anything as long as I got your hand, as long as I'm hanging on to your robe, <laughs> snuggled up right behind you. <laughs> and like, Let's go. Right? That's how you go. You go with Jesus. Let him lead you. It is this you and I together factor that gives you confidence to face the day cheerfully. Cheerfully. Doesn't that take you back to Philippians again? <laughs> this beautiful book about joy and rejoicing. And Paul's in prison for crying out loud. He's chained up. But yet this book, the Philippian letter, just overflows with joy and rejoicing. Why? Because Jesus is with him. Why? Because he knows the name of Jesus, the name above all names. It's Jesus. 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 I wish I would have taken a little time and counted up the number of times that Jesus and Christ and Christ Jesus occurs in Philippians. It's a lot. Paul says, even if I'm being poured out as a drink offering, even if all I got is being dumped out upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I rejoice. Share my joy with you all. You too, I urge you, rejoice in the same way. Share your joy with me. I hope in the Lord Jesus. It is the Lord Jesus who is Paul's hope and confidence and joy. And I pray it is for you as well. Uh, tonight, be a wonderful evening just as you kind of wind down. Just name the name of Jesus. Thank Jesus. Praise Jesus. Ask him to be present with you to relieve you of any anxiety or anxiousness you have about absolutely anything. Because... It is the you and I together factor that gives you confidence to face anything and everything cheerfully. May it be for all of us this night. Let's pray. Father, thank you for a little time to reflect on your presence with us. The presence in the morning, afternoon, and evening, Lord. But I pray especially, we're going we're gonna to wind our day down now. Uh, go to bed. Help us rest. Help us just even dream uh, uh, of just things of the faith, life in Jesus, that we wake up in the morning, early in the morning, first thing in the morning, and invite you, Jesus, to be our constant, ever-present companion wherever we go and whatever we do. May it be. In your name, Jesus, we pray. And in your joy, we pray, Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful uh, evening and a wonderful sweet deep sleep tonight hope to see you in the morning 10 plus 10 we'll be looking at philippians chapter 3 love you all brothers and sisters <laughs>